Hey everybody, welcome to my front flip tutorial. Now I'm pretty excited to release this video because this is probably the most requested tutorial that I've received. So hopefully you guys learned something from it and enjoy. Quick disclaimer, please practice in a safe environment with crash mats and or supervision. I can't be responsible for any injuries that may occur. So guys, please practice in a safe environment and keep on rocking. Okay, so here's some things you should probably be able to do before attempting the front flip. So you should be able to do a front roll, a handstand to roll, and finally a dive roll. And if you can't do a dive roll, that's okay. We will get that figured out here in a second when I break it down. Okay, so the dive roll is pretty simple and it consists of two main parts, the dive and the roll, which is pretty obvious as the name suggests. So you're gonna start off by jumping onto your arms and this is when you're gonna break the fall. Immediately upon collapsing, you want to bring your knees around towards the front, towards the ground again, and you wanna bring your head up, almost like you're doing a sit up or a crunch. And this is pretty much how the dive roll works and it's not much more complicated than that. Just make sure you don't accidentally smash your face in the ground because that would be painful. All right, so let's break down the move and get started. So taking a look at the takeoff, we can notice a few things. So first things first, we need to make sure we're getting a good running start because once we do a small hop out of that, we can block and turn that forward momentum into upward momentum. Now blocking essentially is when you jump with your feet in front of your body and this will convert your momentum into upward momentum from going forward. So then secondly, we want to make sure that we're starting with our arms up. So when we start with our arms up, we can throw it down to create that rotation once we take off. Okay, so when you take off, you wanna make sure you're doing a few things. You wanna make sure you're starting with your arms high in the air, you're watching the ground, and you're also jumping off of your toes. Now this is gonna give you the most height possible, and by starting with your arms in the air, you're gonna be getting ready to throw those down and create a powerful rotation. Okay, so once you've jumped and you're in the air, you wanna make sure you're still looking at the ground because this is going to give you an idea of where you are in the air and kind of give you a spatial awareness. So that way you know when to open up. And then secondly, you wanna make sure you're really tucking hard during this part. So you're gonna bring your arms down to your knees and you wanna pull your knees in towards your chest. So all I can tell you is really hold tight. And if you don't hold tight enough, you're probably gonna end up on your rear end. So you don't wanna do that. Okay, so once you're upside down, there are really only two things I can tell you. First, keep your head neutral, and second, make sure that you're still holding that tuck. So firstly, you wanna make sure that you're holding your head neutral because this is gonna keep your form clean and get you ready for that landing. And secondly, you wanna make sure you're still holding that tuck because a lot of times people open up too early and they end up under rotating, so keep that in mind. Once you're about three quarters of the way through the flip, this is when you want to start untucking for the landing. Now the landing is really difficult because it's a blind landing, which means you can't really see the ground until you're practically on it. So make sure you're keeping your head neutral so that when you do open up completely, you'll be ready to see the ground. And then second, make sure you're already bringing out your knees and then letting go of your legs with your arms. Okay, so right before you land, you're gonna catch a glimpse of the ground, and this is crucial to landing the front flip. Even though it is a blind landing, you're still gonna be able to see something right before you land. So make sure you're watching for the ground and make sure you're seeing it. And then secondly, make sure you just bring your legs to the ground for a soft landing. And if all else fails, if you under rotate, make sure you don't put your arms back because you might hurt your arms. And make sure if you're going too far forward or you over rotate, make sure you just roll out of it. So that was it for the front flip tutorial, guys. I hope you guys learned something. And if you followed the steps correctly, then you should have landed your first front flip. Congratulations. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my front flip tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you did, please click the like button below and share it with your friends. That helped me out a ton. And then also feel free to subscribe to my channel. The button will probably be somewhere up there. That way you'll be notified of future videos that I upload. And then also, if you want to check out last time's tutorial, that'll be over on the left. And that'll be the butterfly twist. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to do that as well. And I hope to see you guys soon. So catch you guys later. Peace.